love all their products. Like this is annoying. Okay. There we go. Use that sanitizer. Okay, so the next question is, what are some things and advice that you would give girls slash women in their early mid twenties? Cause we're we're only in our early to mid twenties. I'm 26, so what are, are some pieces of advice? And it can be multiple things that you would give people our age or like just girls in their early twenties. I'll go first. Go ahead. Um, if I could give anybody any advice, especially girls that are in their 20s and younger, I would say dream big as possible for yourself and um, learn how to give yourself grace because mm -hmm. a lot of times you think that you're supposed to be at a certain point or whatever like that and you get so fixated on where you think you should be that you don't appreciate you know what you've done or just pat yourself on the back you know because literally you have to give yourself grace if you don't you'll be chasing like this satisfaction that you'll like never get because you don't know how to just tell yourself like it's okay you're doing a good job like you don't have to be going so hard right now you can't up like bask in like what you've done. So I would say dream big, give yourself grace and um, use your time, use the time that you have as an advantage because yeah, <laughs> time waits on nobody. So yeah, if I could even tell my younger self that, I would tell myself the same thing. I like that and I agree for sure because I feel like that's something that yes pe women and men probably in their 20s both do struggle with but I know some me personally and that's something that I have definitely dealt with kind of just feeling like you should be somewhere else or just further along but not even open your eyes to see like girl you came so far like you've done a lot for yourself you you give yourself grace because you have tried girl and you 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 doing your stuff. Like, give yourself, truly give yourself the grace. You deserve I mean, it. I mean, I feel like grace is just like a way of life. You have to be able to like, <coughs> recognize it and know how to give it. So, yeah. Agree. What about you, Miss Mercedes? So, um, some advice I'll give to like, women um, in their early 20s, mid 20s is Really, um, just keep yourself busy. Um, keep a job, keep a side hustle, keep a hobby. If you don't have a hobby, find one. Do anything to keep you from doing unnecessary shit and dealing with unnecessary things. Because I mean, a lot of things aren't really worthy of your time and energy. And it's hard to think that way if you're having fun or you're bored. That's why if you're busy, you can't be bored and you can't feed into like nothing that's not gonna feed into you back because honestly you're when you're in your 20s this is your prime baby girl this is your prime eat it up okay like use this time to focus on you love who love on you like but i would just say just stay busy no matter what it is if you like cooking do that if you like working out just find a hobby because another thing is like for instance, when you're in your 20s, you start experiencing a lot of shit that you probably haven't experienced before, you're just not going through. And you need a way to cope and um, every way to cope isn't a healthy way. So if you have hobbies or if you keep yourself busy, you kind of already know how to cope without even thinking about it. It's kind of like second nature without even, mm -hmm. you know, like stressing about it. So, yeah, that'll be my little, one two one two. One two one two. Okay, cause I wrote like ten things down. I'm kidding. I wrote like four things down, but I'm probably only gonna give you guys like two because they're gonna make me feel like I'm talking too much. Cause I, you know, I can talk. I, I, a piece of advice I would give to women in their early twenties, mid twenties, whatever, and advice that I would even give to myself. Um, even earlier on in my 20s at the age of 26, I would definitely would say prioritize yourself. 
uh, put yourself first and use this time to really like find yourself like learn who you are discover you know you what you are who you are what you like this is really the time to really do like to discover you and to, and to really just whatever like whatever your craft is whatever your you know whatever you want to be whatever you want to do like you know this is that time to really just curate for it for self and to just for advancement of self i would say definitely definitely make sure you're utilizing this time to to get better in in all areas from it doesn't have to be spiritually um uh, if that's not what you believe in but you know physically mentally just emotionally like i feel like this is a period where you definitely should pour into you in every aspect for sure so i'm big on growth and i'm i'm really big on healing as i am like um, embarking on my own healing journey so like i would definitely say um get into the nitty gritty like um instead of surface level really dig into like you know the nitty gritty and Look into your look into your your childhood. Look into you know your triggers. Learn yourself. Learn your triggers. Um, and definitely take the time to heal. I know everybody's story is different. Everybody has a everybody's journey is different. I think that it's it's really crucial to in order to to live a. Let me. Know. I don't want to. I don't want to tell nobody what to do. Actually, but I would just say I think it's great for you to dig into your childhood, to dig into your traumas, to dig into your triggers, and learn yourself, grow and heal, and heal from whatever you know, whatever it is that that you went through because it shows up in different ways in your life, whether you choose to acknowledge them or not, subtly or just abruptly. Um, but yes, that's that's the advice that I would give for anybody in their men or women to be honest but in their early 20s oh i'm weak <laughs> I, i'm all over the place i'm sorry i ain't trying to cut you off but y'all y'all know two flames be having this lip injection I, sometimes i just be thinking they just be saying because that's their little thing my lips is burning my little lips yeah, oh they have one burn. no the gloss like it burns you up too bad yo i, just, I, I would rather burn. go with sephora <laughs> i have a great one i love sephora's i'm weak and i'm actually about to try because the I've whole been, time can i talk i'm literally looking down like trying they, to I heard think about it that, that one like, is burning yeah no and they want do. You, I, this one film. is cool this one is from revolution but sephora uh -huh. I can't but yeah, no, that two faces is not is not two faces not okay because I if y'all watched the vlog um, that I posted last, I w I wore the two face gloss, the extreme gloss that had the plumper gloss, and I was in the car and I could barely talk to y'all because I was I, my lips was burning so were burning so bad so I, I'm already knowing that one's doing it for you, but it gets the job done. It's just gonna hurt. Uh, I recommend Sephora's. I'm gonna say that again. I'm weak. I need to try Sephora's then. Theirs is really good. All my clients really love. I have clients who literally be like, "Can you put that plumper on me?" I'm weak, but um. And I mean Fenty. I think the Fenty gloss is a plumper, if I'm not mistaken. The the Fenty gloss is a plumper. And it's even, not. Even it's not it's super. Not, it's, it's not um like a super. It's not like a Too Faced, but it's a plumper. You'll feel it a little okay. bit. But um, I'm reevaluate my life. I'm, I'm like, weak. I'm like, my brows is that my, that's terrible. You. Where's girl? I got my own little stuff up over here. Girl, I'm. I, we got the same she's, stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm grabbing. Yeah, you can use the. I'm just. I'm just grabbing. Yeah, I'm trying to be organized, cat. What's well, the sorry. Next no, I ain't never The last organized. question was. Uh, we gotta discuss right. that. But okay. turn on. But the next question is dating in your early twenties. Um. Turn offs. I mean, yeah, turn offs slash red flags, green flags, dating requirements. So, this is a good one. Let's talk about it. Mm. Go first, cat. Go. She was ready. Said a terrorist. Go ahead. <laughs> uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go first. I'm going. Or what? Uh, no, let, 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 go. Let, let, no, no. Let's say you want me to go. Yeah, let's okay. say because she was ready. She was ready. She tried to. She tried to act like she was. So, a red flag for me. And you know, everybody got their own opinions. Ain't no, ain't nothing wrong with that. But for me, personally, I would say, dang, it's, it's so many. <laughs> I will be somebody that's easily agitated. Um, if every little thing gets to you, how old are we? I need you to learn how to grow up and like learn that like have you not been through nothing in life you should have oh, thick skin like am i tripping <laughs> like every little thing shouldn't get to you mm -hmm. like okay y you gotta like you can't be so 
easily agit like why are you letting little things people get to you like i like somebody who can just like move on with life now don't get me wrong if it's something worth tripping on okay cool but like like tripping i said easily me. agitated easily agitated mean your ass is mad at the whole damn world for, for nothing See, it's so. I see mad at the whole damn world for nothing is is just for me a sign that it's, it's bigger <laughs> problems. Yes, like it's bigger problems. It's something else that's going on. You need you to go gonna, check your heart, boo. That. And then like the whole problem with that is that everybody's like, well, how come you don't sugar him? Yada yada yada. I'm sorry. Just like y'all tell us, I'm not begging a grown woman to do that. Yada yada yada. I'm going to ask you a good three to four times what's wrong with you because I know sometimes, you know, people just, you know, people be in their feelings, they don't want to talk about it because a lot of times it's, okay, I'm going to get a little science, you know, I'm going to get a little to the books or whatever, but long story short, um, the longer you think about something, the more you talk about it, the more you process it, the longer memory it is. So a lot of times when people say, oh, I don't want to talk about it, it's not because they're being rude or mean, it's because it will literally be a longer memory in their mind and sometimes people don't want to, you know, want to have... A bad memory just in the back of their head you know like just sit in the back of their mind so like that's why I said I'm not gonna bother somebody 50 times about some because some people really want to want to want to forgive and forget or just forget period so yeah it's either yes yeah, it's, it's either that or nothing I'm, I can't beg nobody to do anything so yeah if you have bigger issues I need you to call your mama call a therapist but I like if you don't want to talk to me baby I can't help you I can't pull it out of you out of you what about you what are my green flags and red flags well go red right now so a red flag for me is just somebody who just don't respect me yeah. you know you gotta be respectful I need you to be respectful not to just me but I if you just disrespectful to people period I'm not going for that okay. um period. so that's a red flag for me a red flag is also uh, somebody who wants to control what I do I don't like that I've been there I've done that it's not fun um you Ooh, think not that fun at all. it's not fun because you think that you so love walking on thin ice. You love somebody, and so you're like thinking that what they saying is like the best thing for you. And in reality, it's like no, they want the best thing for them. Okay. But somebody who doesn't control me, somebody who is disrespectful, um, somebody who don't work is a motherfucking red flag for me. Get your fucking ass up at work. Go to what say? Get your fucking ass up at work. Like I, I'm who don't want to work. I'm sorry, and like, like you don't know, like made money. a great point. Like somebody who's too sensitive and overreacts to everything. Like we're not a three or a four. We don't have that type of. Well, we shouldn't have that type of like egotistic, like egotistical mindset at the age we are. Like everything don't revolve around you. So yeah, those are my three: disrespectful, don't work, and what was the other one I said? Um, Just. A, Flat out disrespectful to just you, anybody. Like, no, that's what I said. Disrespectful, oh. don't work, and something. I forgot. Oh, I think just agree with what I said. Just the whole. Yeah, either way it goes. Easy agitated. That's what I said. Green flags. Oh, wait. We're just doing red right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, those are my red flags, okay? For me, I. Okay, my red flags, I definitely agree with everything that they said. Especially, like. Okay, so I, I can't, can't say. I can't say too much about the. I don't okay, I don't wanna deal with no one that's super sensitive or that is that um is agitated, but I know like me I have been known to be a moody person. <laughs> I'm a lot better with managing my emotions, but I would say like eh. I have my times. That's but. different though. Usually people are e easily agitated or usually Oh, like as just fuck. just okay. Like, okay, that's just being. you like she said, d disrespectful rule. Just don't have no Okay. Like you order like you ordering your food and you like being mean to the waitress or yeah. something. Oh yeah, I don't like, like that. I, I, that what's wrong with you like or people yeah. who don't have patience and it shows you can just see when people have like this this like um irritated aura or like this aura that's just like okay baby it's not peaceful up up in there yeah so i, I don't want nobody that's easily easily agitated don't know how to talk to people okay yeah because you know you, i know people like that yeah, you know exactly. like i know people that's, that's just like different. rude yeah okay okay they be ordering no, and they get shit. rude if the lady <laughs> don't hear what they saying and it's just like yeah okay, okay yeah because that was too much okay yeah, yeah no okay okay i think 
Well, I think I'm on the same page with them. Yeah, that's 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 definitely a red flag. Can't for me, talk to you because you get an attitude about everything. That because I'm I, okay. That's one thing about me. I'm big on communication, so that'll piss me off already. But for me, I would say a red flag. They they don't want to communicate enough for me. That's a problem for me. And I'm not even like a super clingy person. I actually want to be left alone so I can do me. Um, I I like to be left alone so I can have my space to do me but um i definitely would say someone that's not like you know that i can't communicate with you get mad every time we, no that's yeah. that's already a problem that's already a red flag a problem for me um i like, just get the fuck out of my face that and inconsistency baby inconsistency i cannot deal with that just turns me off like i will be inconsistent with me one literally one too many times and you won't have too many more times to talk to me because i that's one thing that just turns me off so like so 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 much like Fellas, i don't know if you be inconsistent she gonna get to trip okay <laughs> and that's just that okay because I, I ain't got time i ain't got time i ain't got time but nah i like it people that are intentional and that Follow through when you say you're going to do something or just period. Be a man of your word. I feel like that's something I pride myself on. I need if I say I'm going to do something or just being, just period. Just being a person of your word. Men, women, it doesn't matter. Friendship, platonic. Being a person of your word. It's, that's the turn off for me. And green flag, that's the last question, y'all. What is a green flag for you? Turn on. Green flag for me? Mm-hmm. Um... My my number one would have to be a God fearing man, and that's pretty. I feel like it's self self explanatory. A man that's God fearing, he fear God, so it's not too much crazy that he's gonna be doing out here. And um, regardless if you wanna um believe in it or not, uh, well it depends on the type of woman you are. Type of woman I am. I want a leader. I want a man of the household. I need somebody that could like lead me in the right direction because if I'm in love with you. No. I because be if I'm in love with you or fall, fall in love with you, no. nine times I'm out of ten, no. I'm going to be a, a follower. Woman, if they're not a follower to nobody else, they're going to be a follower to their man. So if we're if supposed I'm to, gonna, yeah. yeah. But where are we going? Following, where are we going? Exactly. That's a question. So if I'm going to be following somebody, I need oh, somebody who praises a higher calling because, like, I need you to have some morals, some standards. I need you to have something to stand on when you're mad at you um have have somebody to talk to because if you don't have somebody like if you're mad and you don't have anything or somebody to talk to talk to or anything long story short you're gonna start going crazy you're gonna start like be able to yeah like navigate. yeah navigate through something so for me i'll just say the number one thing is a god fearing man and then everything kind of falls underneath that what about you this city green flag Mm -hmm. I agree. I need somebody who's God fearing, um, who understands that they are too submissive to the higher power. Cause we, you know, like I need somebody to understand that everything that she said. When you going through something, I need you to be able to know, like, that there's somebody that you can submit to and talk to to carry you over. Because I don't need for you to be. Going to go smoke a blunt, crash drink a little me. weed. I mean, smoke a little, smoke a little weed and drink a little drink every time you're going through something, or just shutting down. So I would say, um, yeah, that somebody who's God fearing. Um, I love a family oriented person. Um, I, I, me and my family, we do, we hang out. You know, we have like our Christmas things together and stuff. So. I need somebody who know how to get in there and have a little fun on the karaoke. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't like dudes that like don't know how to have fun. So have to be able to have know how to have fun for me. And then honestly, I really I kind of like my man lovey dovey. So if you lovey dovey, then you can be my hubby. <laughs> <laughs> if you lovey dovey, then you can be my hubby. But I don't like them too clingy though, but I definitely want you to show emotion because I've been with a lot of emotionless guys and it's just like, bye nigga. Dad, okay. Bye. <laughs> I, I don't Get want. Your, bye. I don't want. You're done. Look at all this highlight I put on my cheek. I'm oh weird. my gosh. I'm over it. I'm weird. I think it look cute. It's so much over here. I'm. It's crazy how we all use a lot of same products but everybody's makeup is like. 
different. Let me this is so of. much highlight. Like, but what I was I thinking? Even, Gosh. But I didn't even use, you know. It's too much. What is your green flags, Cat? My green flags, um, I like consistency. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love consistency. I love consistency. I love um, communication. I love a man that has discipline. Um, it's something I've been, I've been like really, really Sorry. trying to practice more within my own life. But like, I love a man that has some type of discipline to him. I got you looking right. I'm sorry. You good. But I like, I like a man that like has discipline and practices it. Um, habit wise. Um, like how she was saying, I want you know, as women, we we definitely are going to follow. I feel like if I'm gonna follow behind anybody, like I would want them to first have a sense of direction. Where are we going? I, I said that earlier, but where are we going? Seriously, do you have a GPS, a map, something like? And but also like, who are you? Like character, morals, all that definitely, definitely is huge for me as well. Like I remember Cindy mentioned earlier about like if you're just being mean to people for no reason, like yeah. you know that's and honestly that's a very telling thing too for me too. Um, that off the rip already just turns me off to you because why? Why? Why are you being mean to people for no reason? Like, I don't know, that's, no, it's no for me, but, um, yeah, yeah consistency, all that, what, what else, what else, what else, six, five plus, um, and then, <laughs> I like how you glazed over there, glazed over real quick, um, and I like, I don't want to get, I don't want to get my, I want my purposes to be like super, too superficial. I was going to be like, I like someone that's active, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, so generic, but, um, no, nah, like just, as he just needs to have a good heart and intentions and all that needs to be in the right place. I do, he definitely needs to fear God. Um, and I would, let me not get too purposey. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stop. Let's say I would love entrepreneur, but uh, God, do you? Um, but Why yeah, do you want an entrepreneur? I feel like an entrepreneur would continue to open my mind and expand it to um, just different things. Um, I know for me, Her. I for sure want to be an entrepreneur. Like, I'm a makeup artist. I love that. I feel like makeup is always going to be like where my heart is and what I'm going to always do. Um, whether it's on cast playground or professionally continuing to. Um, but I definitely would love to own multiple businesses. I would love to, to, well, I don't have to tell you all my dreams, but like I would love to be a, a, a great entrepreneur one day. Like, Content. Well, I'm already in one, but like a, a a bigger entrepreneur, a better entrepreneur. But um, I definitely feel like entrepreneur would put me on to, you know, get some more money <laughs> and um, teach me some things. Like I feel like we could take over the world. Yeah, <laughs> get your money, queen. Okay. But y'all, that's basically we're basically done. Um, I, well, yeah, I just need some. Lip, I just need some lip yeah. gloss, but. I'm not gonna get up and get that. I got some lip gloss with some. Yeah, I um, do. It's Morphe. Which one do you use? Just pass me that one right there. Oh, that's the best one. Oh, uh, which one? Or whatever, whatever's over there, actually. Shady, could you like, store like a gift shop? Whatever. That's cool. That's cool. When I finally perfectly learn how to overline my lip, it's over for you bitches. It's over. Because, like, over. I don't know how to overline them to the point where they look like Bum. how I want them to look. Yeah, but her is my favorite one. Oh, just both of them. Oh yeah, that's right. Boho and flower crown. Oh, but wait, I don't have to do that. where is mine? Though? I just used it there. Yeah, I like boho. I like flower crown, but boho is just perfect. Let's be over here. Okay. Okay. So let me do the look Keep going. Um, this one. Look directly at me. Turn. Prince and dancing. Okay, you cute. Thank you, sis. What's Prince and dancing? This one for Mac. Oh, I want to get that one. Okay, I'm gonna put the highlight and then I'll make the outro. So, look at this, y'all. I'm gonna start with what I was saying. saying. Oh, y'all didn't look at like mine. Okay, come on, Sean, Sean. I put too much on, but I guess it looks fine because it looked like yours. Girl, could. Oh, I sure did kind of have this yours, Yeah. I just want to take a good picture and put it on IG. Let me, uh, let me do this. We doing all this again, I'm gonna take it off. That. That. I'm gonna be trying to. Girl, like we finna go to Avora. Okay. <laughs> Girl, let me put a go out. Girl. Let's go straight to the bed. All right, y'all. So that's the end of the video. This, these are the finished looks. 
I'm talking about since this is an everyday glam girl. I would not do this every day. But I would I would definitely do this every like, day. I definitely cute. I definitely depending on how quick I'm moving, a lot of this would the Why cream would a lot of a lot of a lot of it would be cut out because I mean I wouldn't want to do yeah, a, a full glam every mm -hmm. day. Um, cause this is definitely even glam, but, uh, it natural to me. but it's, it's, it's a lot lighter, like, um, but it's still, the coverage is very much so still full, full coverage glam. Um, but I, I mean, it is lighter than what I would usually do. I would say, um, I usually powder, baby, I be matte. Matte, yeah, I'm I a matte girl. I usually powder up, like right now my face still feels very beautiful. Mm, like, it I don't know good. what to call it, but. Thank you. We all look good. Let's just that time everybody looks time. good. Everybody yes, looks good. So Cause come here. Cause get in the frame. <laughs> beautiful. It's so beautiful how makeup like like look that. At this, look at look the, at the look material. At the flow. Okay. Let's see. You see the flow. But yes, y'all. That's the end of the video. Everybody. We did our everyday somewhat ish glam. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, chit chat get ready with me this is the first one I actually did with people um, I hope y'all enjoyed y'all let me know some more of what y'all want to see in the comments I seen I seen some of y'all in the comments of my last videos talking mess about how to lead a, uh, the items don't worry we got y'all this time but uh just let me know what y'all want to see and I got you we got some more comments I said comments we got some more content coming soon and yeah bye y'all bye bye see y'all next time